What's going on guys? It's Big Time 110 here. And today I want to talk to you guys about a ROM called Omni ROM. This ROM is in stable release and it's based off Android 10. Now, when you first install the ROM, you're gonna like a lot of the features that it comes with. There is a few bugs, but not really big things that are gonna impact the ROM at all. I'll talk to them about them later, a little bit. In, so when you first come here and download the the ROM, make sure you installed the full ROM, which is this one. And if you want to install the OOS camera, which I do, make sure you install that one. Now this one here is just the same camera, but it's an older version. So just download this one. Now, let's move back to the ROM. So when you first install the ROM, you will notice that there is no Google Now feed on the left. And that's something that, like I said before, a lot of ROMs are not implementing them in their own ROMs. And that's maybe because it might be a Google issue, whatever, but some ROMs have it, some don't. It's cool if they do, and it's okay if they don't. We move on. So with that being said, this ROM is nice and fluid. I haven't had no problems with it so far. Battery's been great. I've been unplugged for a while now and it's, I'm still at 40%. And um, let me show you some of the features here. When it comes to customizability, this ROM is one of those ROMs that lets you go wild and, and do whatever you want. As you can see by the header, I have my favorite team there. And let's, let's go into the settings real quick. So you have your usual Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, but that's not what we're here to see. What we're here to see is Omni Gears. That's what you want to see. So if we go to device features, you do have, you know, your off-screen gestures that you can customize with whatever you want. You do have your ambient display, which I'm going to say right now, I don't think that is working correctly. That's one of the things that when, it, when I told you bugs, that's probably one of them, where even if you put, you know, tap to wake or off or only charging, it doesn't, it'll always be on. It's not a problem. I still, it doesn't really affect the ROM, but it's one of the things that they were talking about in the thread. Moving, moving on, we do have the vibrator strength, and that's one of the things that I love about this ROM because... I always complain that other AOSP ROMs have a, a like a bug where you get a notification and the vibration is really strong here, but I don't hear that rattle that you usually, usually hear it when you get a notification and I hate it. This one doesn't have that, but just to be sure, I always keep it at the 50% at the mark in the middle because I don't want to hear any rattling on my phone when I get a notification. So as you can see, we also have the slider options. We have the audio with Dolby Atmos. You can choose whatever you want there. We also have Dizzy Dimming. You get high brightness mode. So when you go out in the sun, I don't think you'll be able to see it here, but trust me, it gets brighter. You also get panel mode. So choose whatever option you like here. And then if we go back out, we do have some Omni wallpapers. So if you want to have that. Now here we have a custom header image. Now that is what I have on top. As you can see here on the very top, I have the Steelers logo or Steelers name. That's what you use to um, customize that. So you can even make it more transparent if you like, see, or darker. Let's see how dark it got. But me, I want to, I want all of it to zero so I could see it all the time and if we go to buttons you'll see you have a music control so you could skip the tracks when the screen is off or rewind we also have show navigation key uh, bars under keys I, I don't have I have the gestures so it doesn't apply to me you also have enable advanced start which I have it on so as you can see here we have boom system recovery and bootloader we also have the long press for the flashlight so that when my screen is off i just long press the power button if i need to use the flashlight and that's it we also have recent style you get to omni switch or default 
it's up to you and then if you go to bars you do have uh, quick settings as you can see they're they're all you know dark and black so if you if you would like to have it kind of like see-through just you could just do that and then you have see-through but me I don't want that so we also get the mobile old mobile style type style I guess the signal and the icons will change but I'm good I like the new style you have double tap to sleep on the status bar so if you double tap boom now you double tap on the screen it also works and if you see fingerprint uh, recognition is pretty good I'm not gonna say it's the best because I was having problems in the beginning before I changed that icon to the Steeler icon it was taking a long a, a millisecond longer than what it would without it so I'm just saying if you do have any issues maybe change the icon it'll help and we also have quick pull down which I have to always but it doesn't seem to work let's go to lock screen here we do have you know show weather condition you know we got the double tap to sleep on the lock screen we got the show ambient display when charging but it's always showing so I don't think it makes a difference but like I said it's not a biggie it doesn't really mess with the satisfaction of using this ROM so who cares you also have ambient light notification this is where you get to um you see when at night you see the always on display well this is where you mess with the brightness and when you get a notification it'll get brighter just to show you so this is where you would mess with that i have it at i'll keep it at 50 just so that i could kind of see when it flashes and then we also have let's see we also have weather so you could have a your weather service you could choose how often it refreshes you know the unit and you could also choose the icon so if you want to outline the lock clock mona or the color color you could use that and then we have the dialer which is just these three simple options i only keep vibrant on this connect just in case i'm talking to somebody and it vibrates i know we've got this connected we also have the fingerprint this is where you could select a custom file to use as your fingerprint icon as you can see i chose that to go with my whole theme of the Steelers. we go to system ui tuner under quick settings you'll see the show brightness slider so if you don't want to show that brightness slider you could turn it off from there boom so it's gone if you want them the top instead of the bottom there's a, there's the top keep it in the bottom you have the other options there that i don't use if you go to uh status bar you can just turn off whatever you don't want do not disturb you got that you also get navigation bar which i guess if you did have a you know the pill or the old school three button layout you could just change it make it a little bit more left leaning right leaning compact in the middle whatever but since i don't have that it doesn't affect me in any way if you go to lock screen now this option here i do like a lot because it, it shows you a lot of information that otherwise you wouldn't get so let me show you what i mean by that so when you can when you connect it to your uh, charger if you turn off the screen when the always on display comes on you'll notice that it has the battery percentage charging rapidly and also it has the watts the voltage the milliamps and the battery temperature now it's not important but i like all those i like all, all all that options that it gives you here that you could show and you could turn on or turn off whatever you don't want to see so it's up to you and then if we go to more you get these three options um, show cpu info i don't know why you would need that but it's there and if we go to display and go to colors you could also choose natural boosted saturated or adaptive and if you go down to advanced you have the font size display you know you're normal you go tap to wake on the screen and here on the bottom where it says theming you get these options now omni rom whoever was in charge of naming these colors you deserve a race as you can see we got omni slutty pink blue monday plaque 
ocean, space, and my favorite, golden shower. Yeah, that's right, golden shower. It matches with the Steelers color theme I have going. But yeah, golden shower. And then also you have, you know, your, uh, I guess this is for the fonts. And you'll have your icon shape that you have all these options here. Now, so far, battery's been good. I, oh, I just connected it, so it's not going to show. Last full charge seven hours ago. You know, it's been, I've been using it. Like, I, as you can see, I'm, I'm using it. I'm not just, you know, using it lightly. I'm using the, the ROM real good. As you can see, it's really good and solid and fluid. Let me show you guys. Uh, Matches, it's up to date. I updated it. It works. I, it passes everything. Um, everything works. Um, and I'll show you that with, if you want to shoot, if you want to see um, some games that don't work with root, they do work. If you have Magis installed and you hide it, as you can see. Another f game that I know that doesn't really work with Root, it's this game, Pokemon. So, if you go back in, see? See that? Everything is working so far. Um, I haven't had any issues. So, guys, thanks a lot for all the feedback that I've been receiving. Thank you so much for supporting and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate everything. And I love that everybody that interacts with me in the comments. Thank you for that. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.